Hey guys, what's up? Shoutsai here. Got another video here for you. Um, so I got into the habit of doing something almost every day, you know, when I can. So uh, this one day I did this little spiky ball thing and uh, I was messing around with the textures and I was able to come across this like nasty burnt up skin looking texture thing, you know, by accident. And like, uh, you know, I'm actually happy with the results because uh, originally I got the Pro Shaders 2 pack from Video Copilot. Uh, it's really, really, really awesome. Uh, however, it doesn't come with anything organic, like no skin textures and stuff like that. So I was kind of disappointed. But um, like I said, I was able to mess around with the textures that came with it. And uh, I just changed some colors and I was able to, you know, come up with something that looks like, you know, nasty skin. So yeah, basically, I'm going to show you how to do this. So all right, before I start, check out VFXer.com. Uh, That's where I got that on. Uh, you know, spiky ball thing, you know, they offer some free you know, models for uh, for Element 3D if you guys are interested in checking that out. And also be sure to check out my Instagram, you know, where I share my dailies and also my Facebook, all right? So, all right, enough of that plug. Yeah, like I said, pretty much what I used here was a brick uh, texture. Now, um, if you do not want to buy or spend the money on a Pro Shaders, then pretty much what I would suggest is look into a tutorial on how to do a bump mat. As you can see here, the light hits the, the texture, you know, it creates the bumps and whatnot. So if you don't want to get the pro shaders, just look up how to make a bump map. There are tutorials on how to do that. And also for the texture, you want to get like a brick uh, texture. Now, I'll show you that next. We'll do right click, new, create a solid. This is for my Element 3D. And I'm going to drop in my Element 3D plugin. Let's go to the scene setup. I'm gonna look for that um that spiky bomb model that I told you about. So all right, so going to the presets, I go to the pro shaders that I, that I bought off uh, Video Copilot. So I went to the stone section and I got the stone rock here. Now this is something that uh, like I said, if you do not want to get the pro shaders, you want to get a material that has like uh, red tones in it. As you can see here, it has uh, browns, right? And also like the, um, the stones is uneven, right? And you have gaps, so that kind of represents like the cracked skins. But the main thing you want to look for is, you know, uneven stone pattern here. And also you want to get something that has like red hues, which will represent like, uh, you know, skin burns and stuff like that. And also you can see here, there's some, like some dark sections here, so. Double click the stone here. This should be an exterior and an interior. Yeah, that's the outside. Uh, the inside doesn't matter too much in this case. I mean, unless if you want to animate this to break open because this is a fracture model. But in this case, I'm just going to focus on the outside. So go down here to the diffuse. Double click on it. Then pretty much what you want to start messing with is the overall color of it. So you got the input levels here. You can start messing with it. And as you can see, I started making it more red. As you can see, everything starts, the dark areas get darker. Mess with the midtones a bit. You can drag the sliders here as well, whatever is easier. So, can I go with something like that? Then the diffuse color, you can tint it, so I'm gonna go more red. Maybe drag this down to more of the blacks. So it's kind of on the way. So, and also went into the bumps here. And I just increased the, the bumps a bit more. And, you know, you can mess around with the environment just to get a better, um, colored let's see let's go to the environments i'm gonna go with the basic uh pick something that's kind of reddish yeah that works so let's hit okay let's create a camera so right click go to new camera i uh, usually pick 50 millimeter why just because i don't know hit c you can zoom in here and so far, that's kind of like it. you're on the right spot. You know, you can add your lights. 
right click go to new go to light let's try ambient hit ok let's try a new light let's make this a uh, a point light let's make this 100 percent and also let's see let's go back to element 3d I want to increase the uh, reflectivity. Just to uh, make it more of a wet look, make it more nasty. You can change the color of the reflection actually, which is pretty cool. So make this somewhat a tight bit red. And uh, that's basically it, it you know see I basically use a stone uh, a stone pattern and pretty much it's just messed around with the input and you know that looks pretty you know pretty good for a starter you know you can mess around with it more so um, I just kind of want to give you like a head start on how to do this kind of shit <laughs> so uh, yeah I'm not too into a click like click type of tutorials you know I kind of want to leave the rest up to you so you can learn so uh the cool thing about this is you know you can add a curves then you can start you know adjusting it easier you know which is why i like using it in 3d so let me see you can drop down the blacks a bit let's see increase the reds you know there you go yeah so i just mess around with the tiling on this thing a bit uh, yeah, I mean, there's definitely room for improvement. You guys can do whatever you, you know, feel that's needed. Um, yeah, that's basically it. Like I said, if you guys are not interested in, uh, buying the Pro Shader, you know, to the Pro Shaders pack, just basically look for a texture that has any red tones to it, right? And also uneven patterns, you know, to represent, like, cracked skin here. And then, like, uh, you are able to go to Photoshop and create a bump map. So, you know... You know, can look around YouTube for that. So, um, you know, that's basically it. You know, with some planning and some, like, you know, some time and all that. And you are able to get some pretty cool results like uh, I did here. So, all right, that's pretty much it for this tutorial. Thanks for watching. You know, hit like, subscribe, or and also be sure to check out my, uh, my Facebook page and also my Instagram. So, uh, that's all I got for you. Thanks for watching and peace.